how many guys are not entrepreneurs? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> how many guys want to be entrepreneurs? It has to be the same hands. <laughs> it definitely has to be the You can't be an entrepreneur and then want to be an entrepreneur. Yeah? So, how many guys are already entrepreneurs? Do you guys want to share your journey? Ama, I should just uh, not involve you. Okay, fine. I won't involve you. Since you guys insisted. Uh, my first point is, I, I'm bending because I'm short-sighted, so I have to like, bend to read my notes. I'm not wearing my glasses. So my first point is, don't stay in bed if you're not making money in bed. You know how this uh, prominent guy said, oh, if you, I don't want to quote names. <laughs> if you don't learn how to make money while you're sleeping, you know, you're going to work for the rest of your life. You've had the quote? Yeah. So it's just basically that. If you don't know how to make money in bed, I know for a developer you'll be thinking, ah, I can be in my blanket in my bed and still code and I would still be making money in my bed. You get it? But I don't mean that literally. I mean you have to put in the hours for you to actually get something out of it. For us, I don't want to call myself a millennial because I don't consider myself a millennial. We have a perception, for us young generations, we have a perception that we have to get quick money. Because everyone out there has been getting, you know, all of a sudden someone is nowhere, then the next thing, boom, millionaire, flying everywhere. You know, the social media, we see Instagram, someone be doing a vacation in Maldives, the most current trending vacation area. Then kidogo kidogo shopping in Dubai, you know, just for maybe I'll call you a sim, or a perfume. So, like, what happened for those who do trending stuff? What happened with Serena Williams? She was craving Italian. Then uh, the fiance decided to fly her to Italy to actually have Italian food. You know what I'm? You didn't? You <laughs> okay? <laughs> So it's okay. I, I'll keep you informed as I keep talking, you know, of what goes on around the world. So, I mean, literally, we have to get out of the notion that everything happens in an instant. Ask yourself, this person hasn't been here, hasn't been known for how long? And they've just been known now. How many years have they taken to work on themselves and work on their business? I'll uh, give an example of uh, this lady. She's called Fena, Fena Minal, Fena, Fena Gitu. Yeah, we, we know Fena Gitu. So she was having an interview on, uh, I think it's KTN. Then she was, she was like, hey, she was being asked, like, oh, you finally made it. How long has it taken? She was like, what? I have been in the industry for seven years, and I was told I was going to be here for eight years before I make it. And it is actually what is happening right now. And you're asking yourself, I've just started listening to Fenagetu. When was, she, when was she all this time? How many were hearing her songs three years ago? Like, when you, how crappy was her music that, you know, it had to start getting here now, seven years later. And it's not that it's seven years, then she boomed on the seven year. No, she worked for seven years, then boomed on the eighth year. So you have to, before you start saying, oh, I know someone who's young and has made it, or I know someone who, you know, just happened, ask, find out, do your research. You know, to be a good entrepreneur, you have to, you have to work. You have to research, which is very important. You have to research. Whether it's on what you're doing, whether it's on your mentors, whether it's on, you know, whoever who you look up to, or those celebrities who you think have actually made it. Ask yourself, how long have they been there? How long have they been behind the scenes? For the entrepreneurs, how many people actually needed money to start their business? Ah, so this is going to be easy to explain. Okay, fine. <laughs> so as you've seen, according to statistics, you don't need money to start your business. It's, it's, it's that simple. Because what... The point is, you need money to get from one to 10, but you don't need money to get from zero to one. 
That is what you have to get in the concept. Because people will be like, especially, I'm going to give an example of real estate. Most people are going to be, I want to be property owners. So I'm going to go to the bank, ask for a loan, and then, you know, get myself involved. But then once you get to the bank, they'll ask you, do you have a business plan? I need your financial records. You're a startup. Mimi, Leo, Mimi. Everyone understands English, right? Kiswahili. Mimi. Nenda bank sahini ambiwe financial records. Nanza wapi. Mpesa. Mpesa, Mpesa qualifies. Does Mpesa qualify? It, it does. So apart from Mpesa, what else? Uh, mobile banking. That's the best I got. Now with my current transaction, hey, Jameni, how much money can I be given? <laughs> you know. And I want to be a property owner. So ask yourself, let's be realistic. Ask you, let's be realistic. Fine, you want to be a millionaire. It's good. That's the first step. But be realistic. To get where you want, you have to have small, small steps. Short-term goals and long-term goals. I don't know about the whole system of a business plan, because you know with a business plan, they ask you about the SWOT. Strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and talents. But you know, once you're writing a business plan, it's basically like, I'm going to buy this garment for like 300, and I'm going to sell it for 700. But once my client decides, nope, 700 is too much, I'm going to buy it for 600. What happens to your business plan? Where's the other mic? OK. Guys want to answer. What happens to your business plan? It's a flop, right? Yeah. So that is the point, especially with right now evolving market, evolving issues, emerging issues that are happening in the industry. At times, yes, you said something for yourself, but Kenyan experience, everyone wants to bargain. Everyone wants to negotiate. Everyone feels like whatever you're giving them is too. Like, first of all, you have to give a quote that's like 150. Do you know the, the client will negotiate till 125? Then you'll be like, okay, let's settle that. You get. So as much as you want to do a, a business plan, give yourself time. Get into the industry. Start. Find out how it goes, how it works. Before you get to a point where you say, okay, now let me do the whole owning 60 properties. And before you want to do like 60 properties, you have to start by selling properties that are already available. Be a broker. Fail, grow, learn something new. Start by owning one flat, two flats, two-story buildings. Then you get to, you understand? Because if you're in the industry and you're being a broker, you're learning the, you're learning the ropes, you're learning the hoops, you're learning everything that has to be learned. Then is when you get to grow from there. But OK, with e-commerce, so we are doing this project. I know I said I'm, a I'm not a developer, but I hang around with a lot of developers. And the worst thing is that coding doesn't trouble for you. I don't know. You guys are just selfish for those who code. But with e-commerce, it's for me, I think it's like you have a blueprint already online. Because you have uh, guys who've made it in the industry. But what we need to look at, especially if you're in Africa, you have to understand that the companies that have made it were meant for different, have different structures because they were made for different people and a different setup. So you have to find your niche. You have to understand how your people work, how people want to get into their comfort zone or stuff like that. Because if I may give, I'm not sure if it's a relevant uh, example. It's like, I'm going to give an example of Uber. I always love giving an example of Uber. With Uber, you know Uber came up. And then, if for me, I don't like walking, and I would do anything to get out of it. So obviously, I would use Uber. So that is what Uber understood, that there are people who are busy enough not to do that. And the people who need, if you see how they grow, we have Uber Eats currently. They deliver to your place. And they have, you can teleconference when you're in your Uber. They still, it keeps on growing, because they keep understanding their market. So they tell you, now you're safer. They have safe safe tips and safeguards and how you're going to do that. And then they have the Uber Eats, and then now they have, oh, if you want to have a meeting while you're doing your Uber, you can save time more for project planning and all that. So it's all about understanding your setup, understanding your market, and knowing what exactly am I supposed to do next by studying your people. I don't know about other people, but I got into business for fun. I didn't get in for the money. I didn't get in for obviously expected money. I didn't get in for, I don't know, anything else. For me, it was for fun. 
I don't know. These days we are told young people don't want to take insurances, don't wanna, they just want to travel and find something interesting. I didn't get the concept of being in an office every single day, using the same route, doing the exact same thing. I wanted to do something that was going to make me move from one place to another and tour. So I decided I'm going to start business because I want to have fun and take a year of knowing more about myself and what I want to do in the end run. Because you know the university system don't really help us. So with that, uh, I was in another talk yesterday in the evening. We were being taught about entrepreneurship and plans. For me, I was just bombarded by the fact that my business actually happened to turn out to be something which I completely did not expect. I was, as he said, 50% is supposed to fail. Mm, I, I didn't expect not to fail. So that is what had been had. So if there's anyone who's been in such a situation, just figure out things were just meant to happen at the end of it all. So just move with it and roll with the fun. Thank you.